Here in Lahoma, we are comparing commercial fertilizer versus poultry litter. And here to explain some of the results are soil and environmental chemist Chad Penn. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So what have we found out so far when we look at the commercial versus the poultry litter plots? Well, well first of all, these, uh, I'd like to say first, these plots were established by uh, Dr. Hyland Zong. He set these up originally basically to compare uh, applying equal amounts of nitrogen to winter wheat to see what would perform better. Um, if they were equal or if uh, the commercial fertilizer had some sort of an edge over the poultry litter. And so what did we find when we were talking about the commercial? What, did, what were some of the results? Well, this year, due to the conditions, we had, uh, when it was first applied in October, um, if you remember then, we had a drought. And with those conditions, the poultry litter did not degrade very well. And a lot of that nitrogen in the poultry litter is in a organic form. It requires proper moisture for it to uh, degrade and mineralize and release that nitrogen. Your commercial fertilizer doesn't have to do that. It's pretty much 100% soluble when you apply it. So we saw a little bit of a, as you can see visually here, there's a, a, a bit of a higher yield in the commercial fertilizer plots compared to the poultry litter plots. But it's maybe just kind of a bad year to compare it then because of the drought. It so have is. you seen um, different results in different parts of the state in past, past plots? In the past, we've, we've tested this on uh, Bermuda grass and also on sweet sorghum in uh, Haskell, Oklahoma. And what we've found is that when, when moisture is not limiting, the uh, poultry litter can actually increase the yield. And of course, you know, the key question for a lot of producers is what about the cost? What is the difference between the poultry litter and the commercial? You can get poultry litter for a for a bargain. When you look at, at the cost of it, buying it straight from a producer out of a house, out of a poultry house, it is around um, 10 to $15 per ton on a wet basis. That's uh, the amount of nutrients that's in it. It has an average nutrient content of about uh, 63, 61, 50. You know, considering the current cost of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, that makes it worth 56 to $82 per ton. So, you know, you buy for 10 to 15, it's worth 56 to 82. So right there, it's a bargain. But this is the, this is the thing. Um, you need to get it from point A to point B. And the shipping cost of it is around 15 to 20 cents per ton per mile. In the end, if you're shipping it within a, a reasonable distance, you will save money. Great. What about um, the future? What would you say for the future of poultry litter then? I mean, is this something that you can see going on around the state and being used as a basic fertilizer? You know, it's a wonderful fertilizer. Uh, like I said before, it's a wonderful resource. And those, uh, the values that are assigned to it that I, that I mentioned are based on the current value of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. But if we consider the other benefits of poultry litter, you know, but that cost analysis did not include all of the trace elements and copper and zinc that's applied along with it, all the organic matter. Uh, and, and a lot of people are well aware of the benefits of, of increasing organic matter in your soil. So you think it's probably worth a shot then? Absolutely. Okay, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.